Hello viewers, this video is to announce a, a new project that I've been having uh, some ideas for some time now. Actually, I've been talking about this from mm, approximately, approximately like uh, three years. From th three years ago, I was talking about, well, maybe someday I will import an engine from uh, Malaysia uh, on a pallet. Yes, that's something I, I discussed more in like in a dream fashion. And now today, the dream has come true. It was not from Malaysia, it was from Japan. And uh, the engine I bought was uh, it's, uh, a 4EGE, 20 valve blacktop engine complete with um, 6 speed manual transmission and uh, 1.5 uh, uh, way uh, LSD from Toyota as well. Complete wiring harness and an ECU. Yes, it's a really nice engine from the looks of them, from the looks of it. And I just had to buy it, so I went off, closed my eyes, and jumped right in. So uh, this video is to show you my reactions. I'm still very <laughs> happy and very excited, even though I paid a lot of money for this. But I'm really, really happy, and I wanted to share this video. So <laughs> let's start with the with the videos, shall we? Have fun. So we're now heading off to the warehouse where the engine was stored and uh, we are in the gridlock so as I was beginning to get worried So hello people uh, We are starting a new video first hand I want to announce the world that I am officially crazy and that I have ordered an engine from Japan Yes, that's true It's a uh, 4AGE 20 valve blacktop and uh, a rare breed indeed, especially in Europe and uh, I have been plagued with all sorts of taxes and all sorts of people trying to take my money away from me yes uh, <clears throat> from the people who take the the engine out of the boat to the people that take care of warehousing, storage, uh, taxes you name it, it's a uh, lot of people, lot of mouths to feed and I'm now going to the um, to the warehouse where the engine is stored and hopefully uh, everything will go well everything is now paid paid for and uh, let's hope I can get away from this traffic and get there on time to load the engine into my car In Portugal, two main ports are in Lisbon and in Leixões, which is where my engine came from, where, at least where it was delivered. Uh, then we are heading off to Vila do Conde, which is the, a place 25 kilometers away from where we are presently and where the engine was delivered to. E pronto, cá estamos nós, já recolhi ali a, ali a beldade. Realmente é preciso ser muito crente para vir com um carro de dois lugares, carregar esta merda, nem sei como é que isto entrou, mas pronto, já, já cá dentro, já está cá dentro. Pô. So, uh, the guy handling the, uh, the forklift was a, oops, was a real, real nice guy, he has a, Renault 5 GT Turbo and a Saxo Cup Citroën and the, he uh, he was he's also a mother and a, a mechanic and uh, that's what uh, that's what allowed me to put the engine in the, in this car because the other guy was saying that uh, it was very hard it was not uh, possible but in the end with the co with very good will and the cooperation we managed to um, to squeeze the engine into this car and um, everything is now paid for a gazillion euros 
uh, but now I'm happy and now I'm heading heading home very very softly uh, because uh, this thing is in the back and uh, it's sliding around and it was uh, made a strange noise when we were leaving like <laughs> there was a crack I heard something crack and I thought well that was the the glass the rear glass that just gave up the ghost but no it seemed like um, seemed like it but uh, that, that's, that's, that was not the case unfortunately I am now heading home in a in a 2002 Toyota Corolla 2.0 D4D with approximately let's see 255 horsepower <laughs> <laughs> so uh, be sure to stay stay tuned for the project for the swap on my 1998 Toyota Corolla uh, G6R which has currently a 4 AFE engine with 110 uh, brake horsepower at least that's that's the rated power when, when it was new but some of the horses seem to have escaped uh, and, <laughs> and now I am uh, I am swapping for this beast back, back there I was really amazed when I picked up the engine, I was really amazed at the size of those exhaust headers. It's, it's something I had never seen. And uh, these are uh, Jasma stamped uh, exhaust headers. This, this is exactly the engine I, I bought. It was the engine in the picture. And I'm really happy. Um, I have to thank, uh, oh, by the way, I have to thank to the guys at uh, Osaka Auto Parts, which was, were the guys who arranged this engine for me. At least the engine is the engine that is in the picture. I have not, I have yet to start up the engine and see if everything is correct, but I hope so. So everything, at least uh, what they said that was on the picture that I would get, I got. So for now I am, uh, I'm happy and I have to thank them for that, for not scamming me. So till next time, stay tuned and uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe uh, for the for the swapping uh, procedure. See you later guys.